the morning. We out here. I right, you can't really tell. Hold on. What does that say? What does that say? Right, real, real quick, real quick. Y'all read that real quick. Yeah, we're at the gym right now, guys, and trying to get a a nice little back day in. Hopefully, I'm not late to work. So, without further ado, let's get into this nasty back routine I got ready for you guys. And I don't know. Let's hope it's a good workout, bro. Let's get to it though. So to start the workout off guys, we're going to begin with some slow and low pull-ups. I mostly do this as a warm-up. I'm going to be doing about six to eight reps uh, within that rep range, three sets of that. And the reason I keep it so low is because first of all, I'm doing very slow reps guys. I'm going all the way down as well keeping my arms fully extended at the lowest position of the pull-up and my elbows straight. On top of that, I am keeping a wider grip as we are focusing on width this workout. And at the very bottom, I'm not only uh, fully extending my arms, but I'm also sort of letting gravity pull on my body, kind of dead hanging there in order to get a full stretch on my scapula as well. So I really get those deeper muscle fibers that kind of feel stiff or tight whenever I'm doing my rows or my lat pull downs. Really helps get that full extra uh, stretch in the back. So I feel fully comfortable during these next couple of workouts. Starting off with some lat pull downs, I am going to be doing a reverse grip variation. You don't have to, I just prefer these over the regular variation. I feel a much better contraction in my muscle and a better stretch on the way up. So for these guys, uh, I just wanna make sure we are keeping those elbows uh, mostly tucked in on the way down. You know, we wanna be squeezing our lats. So we will be pulling down into our sides with our elbows and making sure we are not pinching our shoulder blades so as to bias the lats during this movement and on the way down guys you can see i am squeezing hard at the very bottom and slowly releasing on those negatives we're going to keep a controlled negative so we get a good stretch and really build that mind muscle connection Moving on to some barbell rows. Uh, for these, I am using an overhand grip. Uh, we are biasing the mid upper back for this workout only just because I like to incorporate all parts of the back in my back days while still keeping the bias in the workout. As you can see guys, I am driving um, through my hips, mostly through my hips. I'm keeping the bar in that lower uh, stomach area just so I am squeezing the lats as a part of the movement while still pinching my shoulder blades at the top to activate the mid upper back. Next up, we got some dumbbell rows. Guys, I'm doing a little unorthodox method here by placing my head at the top of this bench. Now my arms at the fully extended position, you can see I'm kind of like slacking my uh, arms a little bit, letting gravity take the weight down so as to fully extend my lats and get that full stretch and i'm pulling through my elbows into my hips keeping them tucked into my sides and not pinching my shoulder blades at the very top of the movement so as to bias the lats and really get that strong contraction For this next movement, we will be doing some bent over reverse flies or bent over rear delt raises, whatever you want to call them. And for this movement, I will be doing three sets till failure. Guys, by failure, I mean after you can't do any more full reps, go ahead and do some partial reps because that's what I did towards the end of the set. You will notice on those final reps, I did some partials because I just couldn't get the weight up. And I really recommend this because it, it, it just blasts the rear delt so much and it really forces that growth.
For this final movement, we will be doing some straight arm pull downs with the rope attachment. I like finishing off with these because it really just blasts the lats. It really makes for a great pump at the end of the workout. Obviously, you can see that I'm not reaching the full extension of the movement at the bottom. I would say I'm supposed to have my fists where my pockets would be at, around there. But I just really couldn't get down there, guys. I was struggling. My lats were very fatigued. But that's the reason I like this workout. I really like pushing myself to my limits. And as you can see at the top of the movement, I fully extend my arms in front of me, giving that full stretch in the lats. going on guys i hope you enjoyed that video um i definitely enjoyed the workout that's for sure uh, you'll notice i didn't do really um a full pull day you know because that would include biceps i didn't include biceps because i feel as if my arms are overdeveloped or at least i've been told that you know i still feel like my arms are tiny and that i'm tiny in general but you know body dysmorphia is a thing but I do see it sometimes where my arms are just um, sometimes disproportionate to the rest of my body. So I, I feel like I need to let my chest and my legs catch up. My, my back is almost there. So I'm not really too worried about that. But my chest and my legs definitely need some catching up to do. So that's why I haven't really been going hard on the arms. I'm kind of chilling on the arms for now. Um, triceps are definitely a little overdeveloped. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you took some notes because those were some fire workouts. This was a great structured workout. Um, shout out Dre, by the way, if y'all haven't uh, if y'all haven't subscribed to his YouTube channel and if you haven't followed him on Instagram, I highly recommend. You know, he really helps me on my journey. You know, we help each other, but he definitely has some good information to give out, guys. And um, I'm gonna put the link in the description for his YouTube and Instagram. That being said, guys. Uh, let me know if you want to know uh, more about back routines, if you want to see more push, you know, if you want to see a full pull routine, biceps included, I'll definitely keep my eyes open for that. Just let me know in the comments. But that being said, y'all have a great day. Y'all stay blessed and stay up.